everyone, this is a uh, FRQ packet number four. Okay, it's called accumulation here. Um, which is, you know, in other words, a rate in, rate out problem. Okay, usually. So usually they'll describe a rate at which something is going in and a rate at which something is going out. So the rate at which people are entering an amusement park and the rate at which people are leaving the amusement park. Another example is the rate at which sand is brushing up onto the shore and the rate as the sand is leaving the shore. So um, the rate at which you're shoveling snow off the driveway versus the rate at which uh, the snow is landing on the driveway. So like, there's a lot of rate in and rate out type problems there. While something is going in, something is coming out, okay? One thing that I should say, now that we've we've gotten about halfway through our FRQs here, um, and this isn't certain, you guys should know, there are six FRQs. Um, this is just based, based on patterns, and it's not to say that this is what's going to happen on this year's exam, but based on what I have seen in the past 20, 25 years of FRQs, Number six is usually the slope field problem, slope field separable differential equation problem. Okay. Um, three, four, and five uh, usually include a Riemann sum table problem. Okay. Now, area and volume. It pops up in either calculator or non-calculator portion, but from what I've seen, I would bet that it's on the calculator portion, okay? And accumulation, I would say, will land on the calculator portion as well. So remember, these two right here are calculator active, okay? Um, and that leaves uh, two more, which is, uh, what was it, graph analysis, which we'll get to, as well as... Um, particle motion and again this isn't set in stone because every year is a little bit different you might get a mixture of certain frqs uh, so don't take these too literally but this is what i've seen so far in the past 20 25 years some pattern of this okay um so keep that in mind so make sure that your calculator is handy for this section but first, as always, we're going to go over the pattern. So have your colors ready. There should be about, I think, four trends here. Um, but I would say that this is probably the most important FRQ. Like, if you have to spend time on one packet, it's probably this one. Okay? Um, it's not difficult. It's not easy. It's right where, you know, somewhere in the middle here. Okay? So the first one is they're going to ask you something along the lines of, like, how many or how much of something, okay? So how many people are entering the park? Uh, how much sand is accumulating on the beach? Uh, how much snow is on the driveway? Something of how many, okay? And this one's pretty easy to spot. There are some, some weird ones where it's not so easy, but let's go ahead and highlight here, okay? So uh, here we're talking about an amusement park where people are entering and people are leaving. But take a look at part A. How many people have entered the park? I'll highlight the whole thing there. Okay. Let's keep going. Uh, 2002B does not have anything in regards to how much. Uh, 2003B, how many gallons of heating oil are pumped into the tank? Okay, here's another one. How many gallons of heating oil are in the tank at 12 hours? Okay, 2005. Um, how many gallons of water in the tank at T equals 18? And hopefully I don't miss any. 2005, how much sand will the tide remove during the six-hour period? 2004, how many cars will pass through the intersection? 2009, how many people are in the auditorium when the concert begins? Uh, find the total number of cars turning left. So the wording is a little bit different. 
2009B. Let's see. Nothing here. 2011B. Uh, what is the height of the water in the can at the end of the 60-day period? So how much height has accumulated, right? Um, so that one was a little bit different. Let's keep going here. What I will say as I'm scanning through this, don't be intimidated by the amount of words or the length of the problem, okay? You guys are looking and learning to kind of just skim through it looking at buzzwords there 2009b what was the distance between the road and the edge of the water at the end of the storm so how much distance right has accumulated um, how many kilometers how many cubic feet of snow How many mosquitoes will be on the island? How many gallons of water will enter the tank? Uh, find the total number of calories burned over that time interval. So, you know, how much calories have burned? How many people arrive? I think you guys are getting the drift here, okay? So I'm, I'm going to move a little bit quickly. Uh, 2,000, there's how many gallons of water leak out? How many gallons of water are in the tank? And then there are your scoring guidelines, okay? That's your very first um, trend. Notice how it pops up, but not always. But I would say 95% of the time, okay? So that's why it's a trend, right? So here's the next one. Use your next color, whatever it is. Your next color here is going to be some indication of increase or decrease. We're looking for something along the lines of those words or something similar to those words, okay? So here we go. Um, nothing here in the first one. Right here. Is the amount of pollutant increasing at time t equals 9? Okay. Uh, is the level of heating oil rising or falling, a.k.a. increasing or decreasing? Uh, 2005, is the amount of water in the tank increasing or decreasing? Uh, nothing here for 2005. 2004... Is the traffic flow increasing or decreasing? Um, nothing there. 2006. I don't see anything there. Wait, hang on. Yeah, I don't think so. 2009B. I guess there's one here mentioning about increasing right there. Increasing, right? Uh, 2011B. I don't think I see anything there. Nothing there. What is the rate of change? Nope. Nothing there. Now this one here does have decreasing but it's a little bit different when it's decreasing most rapidly i'll talk about that in a later video there okay uh 2008 oh let me go back to the first highlight there's another how many here i didn't catch that okay uh 2010 oh there's another one how did i miss these how many cubic feet of snow are on the driveway? Okay. Show that the number of mosquitoes is increasing at t equals six. Um, 
Part B I would not highlight because it's they were talking about increasing at an increasing rate or decreasing rate. So that's a little bit different. And again, I'll address that in a later um, trend. Find the time intervals where the tank is decreasing. Okay, that's worded a little bit differently. So if you notice here, in this section, there are some non-accumulation, sorry, non-calculator accumulation problems. So it's not to say that you're guaranteed to have a calculator or a non-calculator problem here. But based on just statistics, what we've seen, the majority has been in the calculator portion, okay? Uh... Nothing here. Okay, part B. It's the number of people waiting in line increasing or decreasing between two and three. I don't think I see anything else. Okay, so that one popped up, but not as much as the how many and how much problems, right? But it's still... Uh, worth it enough to go over the trend, okay? Um, so here's our next one. Let's do uh, yellow here. This next one here will mention something about a max or a min, okay? Now, this one pops up enough to want to go over it, but notice... You're going to notice in other packets that this max and min type of question pops up in other FRQs. So um, where it may be an outlier in one section, it may be a trend in another. So it's worth going over, okay? So we're looking for some type of maximum, minimum, or some synonyms to that, okay? So uh, here we go in Part D. At what time does the model predict that the number of people in the park is a maximum? Um, part B here talks about a minimum. Part C talks about a minimum as well. Uh, let's keep going. 2003B. At what time is the volume of heating oil in the tank the least? The least is syn synonymous to minimums, right? 2005B. There's an absolute minimum right there. 2005. Uh, I noticed that there's minimum here in part D. 2004, nothing there. 2009, find the time when the rate of people enter odd term is a maximum. Okay, nothing there. 2009, 4 B, nothing there. 2011, In there okay 2007 average rate of change what is the rate of change 2009 again we're just skimming through this very quickly to see if there's any buzzwords of a max or a min here okay nothing there i don't see anything there Okay, part D here. What is the maximum number of mosquitoes? 2007. At what time is the amount of water the greatest, a.k.a. maximum? Uh, nothing there. At what time is the line for the ride the longest? So again, another word for maximum. Okay. Okay, part D here in 2000. Is the amount of water in the tank a maximum? At what time does that happen? And then that's it. Okay. All right. Here's the last one. It doesn't pop up too often, but enough to want to know it because it's very popular in the other sections here, okay? The last one, you're looking for some type of AROC or average value, okay? 
some type of a rock average rate of change or some type of average value so we're looking for buzzwords like average okay so the first one will occur let's see Uh, okay, 2004 here, what is the average value of the traffic flow? And part D here, what is the average rate of change, right? What the heck is the difference? We'll talk about that. Um, sneaky here, 2009, on average, how long does a person have to wait for the concert to begin? Um, 2006, let's see. Part B, compute the average value of L, whatever that is. We'll talk about it. Okay, nothing here. 2011. Part B, what is the average rate of change? Okay. So again, it doesn't pop up in every problem, but it's common enough for us to want to pick it up here. Average rate of change here. Okay, 2009. And this gives you guys practice to actually skim through it. So I encourage you guys to do this too, okay? Okay, I don't see anything regarding average. Okay, 2007. And, you know, if I'm going too fast, make sure that you guys uh, rewind if you need to, okay? Or pause where you need to. Okay, this one's a little bit different. For this setting, find C so that an average of 50 calories per minute is burned. So average is dealt with right there. Okay, uh, 2011B, find the average rate at which the water is draining. Okay, and then that's it, right? So here are your four highlights. Obviously, there are questions that were not highlighted. That's not to say that we should skip it. So I, I, I mentioned that in the previous videos. Make sure that you guys persevere through it. Um, yeah, okay. So in the next few videos, I'll go over a couple of questions on how to take care of these uh, trends here, okay?